Every year at the end of the year, Whole Foods releases its list of trending foods. So what did they say for 2022 and what do I think about them? Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. Okay, so today we're gonna to see what those experts at Whole Foods think that we're gonna be eating for the next year. Number one, they say you'll be eating produce from ultra urban farming. I have my doubts. This seems like something that is for wealthy inner city people, but if they could extend these kind of trends to food deserts in the inner city or people who are of lower income and create these local centers of ultra urban fresh produce, that would be amazing. So great idea. I have my doubts about whether it will actually make its way down to the typical American. Let's see. Next, Whole Foods says you're gonna be eating reduced terrianism foods. Oh my God, what does that mean? Talk about a way to say something that sounds very complicated, but what it actually means is that people are going to be eating foods that are higher quality, less meat, and maybe better for the environment. I would have used a different word than reduced terrianism because I think that sounds ridiculous. Whole Foods says you're gonna be eating a lot of hibiscus next year. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won't be drinking a lot of hibiscus or eating a lot of hibiscus next year, but I guarantee you that based on this, that they'll be selling a lot of hibiscus at their store. So they're trying to prep you up to eat it. Um, I do like hibiscus tea. Next, if you don't like alcohol, but you love those specialty crafted drinks without the alcohol, then 2022 might be just for you. Whole Foods says it's gonna be the year for buzzless drinks, and I absolutely love this. Cocktails are delicious, but they can be made deliciously even without the alcohol and people who don't drink alcohol really never get the love that they deserve. So 2022 may be just for you. Talking about things like a zero proof whiskey. What? If you love whiskey but don't want the buzz, this is gonna be perfect for you. And I think this is a great trend. Let's see if it comes to fruition. Next, grains that give back. That sounds absolutely ridiculous, but they're talking about grains that are grown in areas where they are done sustainably. Grains that are grown in a way that helps protect the soil. So not only are they healthy because they may be whole grains, but they also are giving back to the earth and they are grown in a way that doesn't scorch the earth. They are grown sustainably. They are good for the environment. This is the way that we need to go as a world. If you're a baseball player and you like crunching on your sunflower seeds, then 2022 also is going to be your year. I do love sunflower seeds. I add them to my salads. I love sunflower butter. I think that eating more like a squirrel or a bird is actually very healthy. Sunflower seeds have a lot of fiber, vitamins and minerals, magnesium. So I hope sunflower seeds become a part of your diet. Just don't spit the shells out all over the place. The last one that I want to talk about from Whole Foods is called a functional fizz. Now, when I think of functional fizz, I think of kombucha. And kombucha is one of those things, I, and I want to know what yours are. So this is one of those things that I hated forever, never thought I could like it, and then all of a sudden, it's like a light switch went off, and now I love kombucha. Maybe it's that the more you drink of something, the easier it is to change your buds. And if I can learn to like kombucha, and I really do like kombucha, then it just goes to show that your taste buds truly can change over time. Now this functional fizz, besides kombucha, will include things like prebiotics. And you'll hear a lot of health um, experts talking about the benefits of prebiotics and of fermented drinks. I think the jury's still out on that. It's very possible that those things have a lot of health benefits, but we need more studies and data. So try it. If you like it, keep drinking it. Don't think it's going to cure all that ails you, but you never know. 
I'm Dr. Blake, The Cooking Doc. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, thecookingdoc.co. Check out my book, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, A Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease. 2022, here we come.